tagged by uh, RS Bushcraft uh, for showing uh, my EDC. So, so uh, I'm gonna respond to that tag, uh, both in English and in French, uh, first in English, and after that I'm gonna make uh, the same in French because uh, I have uh, friends uh, all around the world that are speaking French, so uh, that's the way I'm gonna do it. Uh, first thing, I'm gonna tag uh, right away three other people uh, that have been uh, inspiration for me. Uh, so the first one will be Mano from uh, Mano Foxbush. He's uh, in uh, Britain. Um, and uh, that's the first one. The second one is Wayne from Cold Craven is in New Brunswick uh, and the third one is uh, John from Turtle Bushcraft uh, in uh, Wisconsin. So those are the three people that I uh, strongly believe in that have uh, some kind of skills and thought that I share uh, so that's the way and now I'm gonna show you what I carry every day uh, and there's only one thing that I carry every day it's uh, an open L number eight that is always in my pocket I also have a number nine but this one usually goes in my pocket or in my backpack when I go out uh, long time away, uh, but not such long time, but I was um, smoking, so what I always have in my pocket was a lighter, a big lighter, and my uh, old uh, Swiss knife, the Victorinox, uh, that has been with me since 1982. Um, if people tell you that uh, a lighter is not a good way to make fire in different uh, weather condition, uh, you just may ask to a smoker if there's any condition where he cannot light a cigarette and he's gonna laugh at you. Uh, you can put it in your hand, warm it and go on. If it's wet, you just uh, shake it, dry it a bit and it's gonna start back. So. This is something that you may or must carry with you all the time. Okay, now I'm gonna go further in detail of why I carry only a knife. Uh, first, uh, it's because with a knife, I can do a lot of things. I can uh, make natural cordage uh, out of uh, the bark of some uh, species of uh, wood. I can make a container out of uh, some barks like birch bark or uh, spruce bark that is uh, very common in the area. Uh, also uh, with a carbon steel like the open nail I can get spark uh, with quartz I don't know if you see it, but I can get spark. So quartz is very common in the area, so that's something that I uh, can make uh, spark and try to light tinder. So that's why uh, it works also uh, with flint. I have uh, some pieces of a uh, flint here coming from a friend in France uh, that can also uh, make uh, good sparks. Uh, so that's the something uh, 
that can be very useful also because the OpenL has a um, a uh, 90 degree spine I can uh, gonna lock it I can throw spark on a ferro rod scrape some magnesium or work uh, with another uh, regular ferro rod with no problem so that's the way um, I also have a it's a forged striker but uh, that's something that I not necessarily carry with me all the time um, the other thing that I uh, always have with me is something to protect my head like this hat or if I'm riding a bicycle I'm gonna put an helmet uh, I can use a bandana to protect my head uh, another kind of hat uh, or this kind of hat either and during winter I'm gonna use some other kind of hat to protect from the cold weather uh, the other part the, or the other thing that I may have uh, always with me it's some gloves uh, like uh, those one when I'm working around or uh, in the fall or in the spring like gloves and during the winters much bigger and much warmer gloves so you may ask why I'm talking about hat and gloves uh, about EDC it's because I strongly believe that the most important thing that you must carry and protect all the time is your head and your hand because with the knowledge that you have <laughs> within your head and with your hand you can get out of uh, that situation uh, I don't think it's a good idea to carry a lot of stuff on your uh, wrist, on your uh, belt or whatever and showing everybody that you carry survival or uh, stuff. Uh, in the wood, usually it's really rare uh, that I will go only with one, one, one knife. I will have other uh, uh, piece of gear, but uh, if I'm caught in kind of a apocalyptic uh, situation or uh, something catastrophic uh, where where people uh, are running crazy uh, I think showing them that you have piece of gear uh, will make yourself become a target and they want to steal it or uh, take it from you but if what you own is your knowledge and your skills people will have a tendency to bunch with you and to uh, make a, a better and a more suitable uh, helpless environment to get out uh, from a adverse situation so that's what I think uh, I don't believe that uh, carrying a lot of stuff is a good thing uh, to do when it comes to those kind of situation. Uh, I remember uh, from my youth that uh, my grandfather was only carrying with him a pocket knife. And with a pocket knife, uh, you can go through a lot of uh, bad situation. You can make yourself a shelter, cordage, container, whatever. Uh, y y y y but the thing is that you need to practice uh, those skills to develop them and once it's in your habit in your brain uh, they become part of you so that's the way uh, either way uh, there's also uh, in um, in our environment a lot of quartz uh, I hear is a small piece of uh, one big one that I have in front of my house and uh, this is a pirate spirit uh, that when you uh, uh, you won't see it in the in the light but when you 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 hit both rocks it can make small sparks 
and 